Hi. Well, last week I began talking about the importance I see in spiritual disciplines as a means to hold fast to the connection we have with the ground of our being, our source of life, our God. Prayer, reading scripture, and worship are the classic disciplines that through the ages that have supported Christians. And while the past is not the present, and certainly changing times require new ways, the ancient structure can hold us and guide us. So I ask you this week to spend some time looking at or taking an inventory of your current practices. So I will share mine. How and when do we pray? Well, I found that my praying had little consistent pattern. When asked, I would say a prayer. When confronted with an issue, I would ask God's help. I did begin most days before I got out of bed thinking about the day and in some ways seeking God's engagement with me in the process. But I feel that this approach needs more intentionality and specificity. That is, I probably would be served better by having a specific time and place to be with God and myself. Second question, when and why do we read the scriptures? Well, I read scripture for the breakfast Bible study on Wednesday morning. Uh, the selections are already made for me by the lectionary, which is used in preaching here. And I also read a spiritual formation book in preparation for the spiritual journey group's discussion. I do read scripture sporadically and other spirituality books. But I wonder if I wouldn't be better grounded if I chose a regular reading just for me. And the last question is, what is our vision of worship, corporate and personal? And I can say that I have found the worship services, the virtual ones, worshipful. And I hope you have too. Personal worship has never been a part of my discipline, so maybe it is time to give it a try. I do hope your inventory has suggested both ways that you are nurturing your soul and some room for deeper prodding. As you may gather, I find that establishing a regular prayer time is as important as an addition to the praying we do for each other and for our own needs. I do think times of anxiety and turmoil, as is the case of our nation now, can be dealt with by regularity and discipline. The specific and habitual act as balances to the uncertainty and chaotic. So I want to talk about establishing a meditation or prayer time. Today I will talk about finding space and then next week tackle the difficult problem of when. Now if you already have a regular prayer time ritual, you are much ahead of me. Mine fell by the wayside some years ago. So I will hope you will use your time to think through what you now do and find those parts that are nurturing and those parts that you might do differently. Indeed, some of us need variety and variation and some are best served by keeping the way it always has been. So several questions arise as we begin to establish this regular prayer time when we're considering the question of space. Where is the right space? And how do I make that space sacred? Where, I think, depends on your circumstance. How much space do you have? And what in it creates a call to you? When you go there, you are, to, are engaging intentionally in prayer and meditation. And that is a call and a purpose. It indeed, that space has a specialness about it. And I think it's basically best if that space is a place where you are alone and have the option of quiet and free speech. In other words, you won't have to worry about someone hearing you or thinking you're strange. 
So this week, look for a space. It could be a special chair. It could be outside. It could be near a window or at a desk. And if you need to move, it could be a prayer walk. Though I do think some activities don't really lend themselves to meditation, like using your commute time to work. That engage, if you're truly engaged at that point, you might run off the road. Now, if this space you find is used during the day for other things, you may want to find a way to signal that this is now your time with God in that particular place. And actually, even if you set aside a place within your, with where no one else is using it, you may want to add something that reflects and reminds you that you have come here to be with your Creator. Through the ages, people have used lighting a candle as a way to start their prayer time or meditation. Some use a picture or an icon to color the space. Others might have something from nature, a rock or a seashell, that is their way of making this space, space for God. The space is made sacred by our intentionality in coming. Our seeking of God's presence there, our willingness to come with humility, our willingness just to come and be. So start looking. The search will be fun. Ask God to direct. In our spiritual journey, group, we're reading Diana Butler Bass's book, Gratitude. And in this week's chapter, I heard a compelling reason for creating this space to engage in knowing self and knowing God, particularly at this time in our lives. You know, they go together, according to most religious people, when you know God, you know self, and when you know self, you know God. Bass points out that this knowing is critical in changing our perception of the world. She sees a world structure made by circles, concentric circles, starting with me at the center and then followed by friends and family, the next circle, local communities, and the all-inclusive circle of the global or whole world. Now with an aware of, with an unawareness and self-centered me, this world book view is really destructive. But she says, with personal development, self-awareness, seeing the world with our own eyes, we have the basis to form true friendships, to find love, to be committed, and to have a mature faith, to be wise, and to form true communities. And I think a necessary step in ordering the chaos, healing the damage, quieting the range in such a way that we become the world as God created it good. So it's amazing what a little time, a sacred space, and an intentionality to be with our God and ourselves can do. So stay safe, grow, be blessed, and a blessing.